Hello, and thank you for joining me in this exciting update for Easy Worship 6, Build 4.3. There are several new features we have added for you, and we don't want you to wait any longer to find out what they are. So let's dive right in. The first thing you'll notice at the top of Easy Worship, there is a view menu. We have added two alternate views of Easy Worship to allow you to choose your favorite. As you can see, I'm currently on the original Live with Resource Preview. This means your preview is in the Compose area in the Resources and in the Schedule, and what's live is showing in the Live window. If you've been using Easy Worship 6, this is what you're used to. What's been added to this view is the ability to compose quickly. Select the song you would like to use, click on Themes, and select a theme to use with it, and click the Play button above to go live. Or to add it to the schedule, click the plus button above. To change the view, click the view menu and we'll go to preview and live. What this does is give you three separate columns above the resource area that include schedule, preview, and live. Under the preview and live windows, you have the preview output and live output windows. To replace the Compose mode of the previous view, you can select the song you want to use and click Themes and drag and drop your theme onto the preview output, anywhere except on the slide itself, to change the theme for the whole song. Or you can drag and drop it into the preview for a single slide. The resource area can still be hidden if you want, and the other windows can be resized. Click on View to change to the third view, Preview and Live Combined. This allows you to preview and go live in the same window. If you select anything in your resources, you will see it show up in Live, but it won't actually go live until you click on it. So I'll add a few items to the schedule, then select the first item, and you can see it in the live window, but it's not on the live output. Once I click on it in the live window, it sends it to the live output. Even if you go off script, you can select items in your resources to preview them before you actually go live to them. This view also gives you the option to compose by selecting your song and clicking themes, and then you can drag and drop a theme to one of the slides. Something else you may have noticed on the toolbar is alerts. Nursery alert is here. To use alerts, simply click on the alerts button and type in your nursery alert or a short message and click add or press enter. You can remove the alert by clicking the X to the right. To change the alert options, click on the edit menu, then options, then alerts. You can enable or disable alerts, set the font settings, the background color, or set it to none if you don't want a background fill at all, opacity, location, and time on the live output. Another feature added is color-coded labels and shortcut keys for the labels. In the options menu, click on song under live, then labels. Here you can set the color coding of your choice for the labels and give custom shortcut keys for them. You can also add your own if a label you want isn't already there. The final feature we'll be going over in this video is packing files in your schedule. Up until now, Easy Worship 6 would automatically pack all the files in the schedule when saved. In this update, if you're creating the schedule on the same computer you're using to project, when you click to save a schedule, you can uncheck the box to pack files in schedule to save hard drive space. If you're transferring your schedule to another computer, you'll want to leave that box checked to make sure everything you added to the schedule works on the other computer. I hope this video got you as excited about the new update as it did me. Be sure to watch all our other support and training videos on our support page. 
support.easyworship.com. Thanks for watching and thanks for choosing Easy Worship.